This is my workbook for A-Level Physics. This one is book one, and this is designed for students at the start of A-Levels from July to October. If you want to find out full details about the book, including a walkthrough of it and also why I designed it the way I did, you can watch this video up here where I go into loads of detail about that so you can see exactly what you're buying. So, who should buy this? First of all, if you're in year 13, you probably don't need to buy this book because the stuff in this book you'll have been doing for the last couple of years. It's the stuff that you'll have been building on day after day in year 12. And at this point in year 13, it's probably better to go and buy my premium plan over at alevelphysicsonline.com. That has hundreds of videos explaining the full course for year 13 students. So if you're in year 13, you don't need to buy this. But if you're in year 12, I think you should. Because if you're in year 12, even though this book is designed for the start of the course, a lot of the questions in this book are going to be absolutely perfect for you. And it's going to make sure that you're revising all the content, you've got the basics absolutely covered. And that means when you're going into mock exams in the coming months or your real AS physics exams in the summer, you're going to have a much better understanding of the whole course. So this book here, even though it's got the dates at the top, and we've already gone past these dates, you can still buy the book, you can probably work through it over a couple of weekends, and it's going to really, you know, kind of solidify the kind of the foundations of your A-level physics knowledge. So if you're in year 12, go and buy the book. Also, if you're in year 11, and you're thinking about doing A-level physics next year, you can buy the book now, and that means you've got it ready for when you've finished your GCSEs. Now the questions in the book start from July onwards, and that means, if you were to do all the questions in July and August and the start of September, by the time you have your first A-level physics lessons in September in sixth form college or at school, you're going to find everything is a lot more manageable. The hardest bit, often of A-levels, is that transition from GCSE, where things are quite structured, to A-level, where you spend more time doing the subject, you have more independent time for study, and that's often the hardest point in the course. By the time it's, you're in year 13, it's all straightforward, it all seems to work. So I would say, if you're a GCSE student thinking about doing A-level physics and you can buy a copy, leave it at home on a bookshelf somewhere, and then that means from the start of July going into August, you can then use the book over the summer holidays to prepare for the A-level course. Um, so yeah, if you're in year 11, you're in year 12, do buy a copy. You can find copies over at Amazon. I've got a link beneath this video. Um, often they get sent out within a couple of days if you've got Prime membership. Um, but Amazon print them off. Uh, and I do feel that for the money that you pay, which is only £9.99, you get an awful lot of questions which can really help you understand the course more and also ultimately enjoy A-level physics because when you understand it, it is a joyous thing to be doing. So this is uh, the Daily Workout book one. Uh, books two, three, four, five and six are going to be released, released as soon as I write them, uh, which will be over the next year. But first of all, have a look at this. It's well worth having a look at. Thank you.